now let's see the different now let's understand the networks so network is a simple connection of different devices i'm going to represent this one as computer one we have here as computer two and here we have computer three suppose these are three different users they could be in the same city they could be in a same organization or in the same house as well if they want to exchange some data with each other they have to establish a connection first and that established connection this connection this architecture is usually referred as a network it could be a laptop it could be a printer it could be a pc it could be a server any device that can receive or that can transmit data with another device is usually considered under a network now we can connect different devices in a different network and for different connections we use different topologies so topology is just a term we use to refer to the structure of their connections you can connect multiple devices in two different forms like you can connect all of them with each other for example if i go here on this particular diagram we can see each dot represents a device it could be a laptop it could be any electronic device that can transmit or receive data if you talk about if you talk about this bus topology here we can see all those devices are connected in a single row and any point of failure can also impact the entire network for example if this middle device is unable to transmit data to the next receiver or next node the entire network will collapse the same will be happen with this star topology where all the devices are connected to the central device which is considered as a hub and if this hub fails to handle or transmit data then the entire network will collapse again and the same thing can also happen with this ring topology as well where a single point of failure can also impact the data transmission in general ring topology the data transmission is always one way and if we are transmitting data in both the direction if it's a bidirectional transmission then it is usually referred as dual ring topology where each device can transmit data to one another after this dual ring topology we can see there are other methods as well for example like mesh topology is there but mesh topology is not preferred in smaller organizations or in smaller networks because the maintenance cost and the complexity of the network is usually high but it also handles the failures as well any point of failure will not affect will not impact the entire network now these single dots can represent a single network as well it could be a single device it could be a single network as well for example in this hybrid network this single row or the single ring topology is usually referred as a device in the mesh topology so these kind of hybrid structures are also followed in the organizations after this we have this tree topology where we have a central node which is generally considered as a isp which is connected to different routers or their different towers which has their routers and then each of these routers is connected to different users here which we can see here right so these kind of different connection methods or connection structures are referred as a topology of a network now to connect the network we have different devices let's just dig down and see what are the different devices that can be used to connect other devices in the network for example the first one is usually considered as hub so hub if you talk about the hub hub is a device which broadcast data to every node so if we connect a device in a network and if the devices are connected to a hub 
then the data passed from one device to another one will also be transmitted to another devices. Let me just give you a simple structure here. So let me just draw a diagram so we can better understand this. Suppose this is my first device. Let's just duplicate them. Suppose we have three different devices and these devices are connected through a hub. So let me just get a hub as well. Let's consider this one as a hub for right now. And each of these devices are connected to hub and then this hub makes all those devices to communicate with each other. Now, suppose this is my laptop one or let's say the user one. This is my user two and this is my user three. If user one wants to send a message to user two, the message will be passed through this hub. The message will first be transferred to the hub and then hub will transfer it to the user too. But here comes the point. Hub will also pass the same message to user 3 as well. Hub will always broadcast the messages. It will not only transmit the message to the single destination. It will always broadcast the message which is generally considered as insecure right because in most of the network we usually prefer unicasting or multicasting in case of unicast we transfer data to single receiver and in case of multicasting we transfer data to multiple receivers but not to each and every device in the network which hub does so instead of sending messages to each and every device suppose i want to send my message only to specific user suppose this my this is another device that i want to connect with so if i want to pass my message to this user one user two and let's say this user 4 right instead of hub we have to use another device which is considered as router or the switch so instead of this hub we prefer using the switch so switch again has all the functionalities it can unicast it can multicast and it can also broadcast the messages and all this unicast multicast and broadcast is done on the basis of a table which is considered as cam table in short we call it the cam table but in general it is preferred as content access management table it is this is a pretty simple table it has two simple entries the first one is the port it could be a physical port, it could be a virtual port as well. And the second entry is the MAC address. So we will come to this CAM table as well. But before getting into the detail for this CAM table and the other tables that are used by different devices, let's first understand the different devices here. Now, so we know hub will already broadcast the message. So instead of hub, we use switch. So we can unicast and multicast our message for the privacy and the security part. Now, if we are working in a single network, this will work perfectly fine. We don't have any issue. But instead of a single network, if we have multiple networks here, for example, let me just duplicate all this. So let's copy and let's create the second network. So this would be my second network. Let me just remove these two entries. So if you want, we can just highlight the, them as network one and network two. Or if you want, I can simply write it here as network one. And this is my network two. Simple. Now, if these two networks, or let's say that user one wants to connect with the user two in the network two 
if this user wants to communicate with this user in another network we have to use another device which is called as router so routers are usually used to connect two different networks in a simple manner so this is a simple router here and these switches will be connected to the different routers right in general case the common router or a general router can only handle two different networks but there are high-end routers that can connect multiple networks it could be three it could be four networks as well they can connect multiple networks in a same device right if we have three or four networks here so all of those networks have their own switches and all those switches will be connected to the same router here so in this manner a router is usually used to connect different networks in a structure and this structure can be referred in any of these form it could be a ring it could be a hybrid it could be mesh it could be star and tree as well